What is up everybody? I'm no Lex Given here with your afternoon snap and today I am continuing what is probably the biggest collector's reserve opening ever. So big in fact that I had to break it up into two parts. First half of this video was yesterday and today we still got a whole bunch more stuff to open up so let's get cracking. So this one I am uh, excited for this Dan Hip variant is pretty cool and I did not have a Lady Sif variant yet. It is awkward to open up two Sabretooth variants and have the second one be kind of a troll, but I think, I think I'm going to go the route of I have to play this one to make it not a mistake. And it's cool. I like it. It's a little bit more, um interesting than this one especially because as soon as you get rid of the background on this one there's going to be nothing going on uh whereas this one has still like a cool looking guy from universe 3099 or earth i guess it's not earth 3099 it's just universe 3099 right uh not all of these people are from earth who the heck knows where Sabretooth is from but let's get back into the opening I'm not even halfway done yet, but we've got a new strategy that might speed this process along a little bit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up just collector's reserves on the right side of the screen. And I'll pay super close attention to which ones are the spotlight caches. Yeah, I'm just refreshing my mind now. I think we're gonna go up to, get that out of here. All right, that's, oh, we're, we're up much past that. We're in the, we were looking at 7,300 next, I believe. So we are way past all this stuff. Yeah, 7,330. So our next one's gonna be 7,450. And it's really gonna throw off our ability to track what is inside of each one. Stegron, um, not super excited by Stegron. I think this is another just series four card. Uh, the main ones I was excited about were Hitmonkey, which I forgot about, um, Nimrod, and then Darkhawk, which Believe it or not, I still do not have, and we still have not seen throughout this video. 74, gooey yet firm. I think that one's gonna be a pass for me. 200 gold smash, 7450, pass. So now 75, 70. Now I'm doing a quick smash or pass segment, capable of greatness, perhaps. Um, I think it's a funny title, but I definitely have better 200 gold smash. And then where are we at? We can open up this one, collector's tokens. And is this it? Yeah, this one is a pass. So this is gonna, we're, we're speeding things up already, as you can see. Next one, seven, 69. Ooh, another Electro Sinister Six variant. I feel like, unfortunately, this is gonna be a pass. I already have two other Electro variants, I think. Um, I don't know, I could start. The thing that's nice about getting a new Electro variant though, actually, I think I might only have one, but I already have it exactly where I want it with black and white and no upgraded border. So now I can start upgrading this one and still make use of Electro Boosters, because I probably have 400 Electro Boosters. We'll check, and that might be the card that I upgrade for the second half of this video, right? 69 is the next nice number that we're looking for, which I think will be this next one here. Yep, that's gonna be a pass. And that means the next one will be 7810. I'll double check on my chart. Yep, 7810. Pixel Death. It's kind of cool, actually. 
One thing that's awkward about normal death, and I do not currently have a normal death variant, is normal death, we're skipping that one, and then it'll be uh, 7930. Yep. Normal death takes up so much of the screen that you can't really see what else is going on behind her if you like gold split it or something. Speaking of gold, once you update your game Pixel White Queen, um, sorry, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't, yeah, it's going to be the next one. And I can't see that Pixel White Queen. It's a pixel variant. It's not super exciting. And we're skipping 79.30. Now I'm looking for 8.50. 80.50. Uh, I think she got a buff today, but still not buff enough. Okay, gold. Once you update, you won't be able to have gold in your collector's reserves. That's it. That's the tweet. It's nothing too crazy. I drug it on here for uh, way longer than I needed to, but that's the that's the whole idea. I accidentally clicked that one at some point, it looks like. Uh, next one we're looking for is 8170 Chibi Super Scroll. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I gotta remember to keep these things on the screen longer because as soon as I hit that X, we can't look at them again. Um, but we also gotta get through it. We gotta get through it. I know that some people on these videos are like, you're, you're like not like, oh my gosh, you wanna see like a crazy reaction every single time. Um, and I'm like mostly just like whatever, cause I don't really care about the variants, but you'll, you'll hear in my voice when I'm like genuinely excited, but I'm not faking it or anything. Um, for the most part, I don't really care about the variants, pass, and then we're done. Okay. So this brought us to the end. We're also going to go down the left side of the screen now, and then I'm going to claim all the boosters and credits. Maybe I will do that when I'm not recording or, you know what, while I'm talking here. Let's just, let's just click on some things. Okay, my credits are full. I was waiting for that to happen. So I think I can still open up collector's reserves and get the credits. So let's see. Collector's tokens. What happens if I open up a collector's reserve and get credits? Yeah, so I can still do that. But then I'm going to have to upgrade a bunch of cards, which means I'm going to be able to open up even more collector's reserves. And I'll also go through and open up all of these credits on the track. So there's going to be a lot to do here still. Um, Pixel Apocalypse, I do like, but I mean, my avatar is the $80 apocalypse that I purchased last winter. And that is the second part of what I was getting to with gold. I'm going to hold all the gold. I'm going to hoard it. And I'll actually go back here and look, I'm up to 12,000 with the gold. I don't know if I should pause for helicopter here. pretty loud. It might be a plane, actually. Um, I'm at 12,000 gold. I'm going to hold the gold, and I don't even think I'm going to get the Black Panther variant. I think I'm going to wait all the way to Christmas and Cyber Monday and New Year's, and I'm going to look to spend the gold there. And the reason for that is because there is now no longer gold, on the, oh, and there's my Apocalypse uh, avatar as well. But because there is no longer gold on the collection track, I think that means they're gonna make sale bundles better in the future. Are you following that logic? Oh, right, I can't open up credits yet. All right, let's just, let's just go through and open up the other stuff. Um, yeah, and then I'll, I'll find something to upgrade in the next segment of this video. Um, but because they are no longer giving out gold, I think that that means that bundles are gonna get better in the future. They're also just going to be better for those holidays and for uh, those are times when typically companies put out some of their best deals. So I wanna stockpile to have like enough gold for the deals that I want this year and the deals that I want next year. And I'm fine hoarding 
as you can see from this video. I've got no problem hoarding onto economy in games that I play and just getting the most value for it. And I think that no gold in collector's reserves frees up second dinner to have more gold bundles in the shop, like more things to spend your gold on because free to play players won't just have a steady inflow of gold. Strong guy, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, King of Hell, that's that's pretty epic. Um, haven't seen Strong Guy C play in a while. Snow Guard, not as super exciting if this is a Series 5 card. I should check. Let me load up Marvel Snap Zone Series 5. I gotta see what Series 4 and what Series 5 because I don't even actually remember what's what at this point. It looks like Hitmonkey could have been. So apologies if you were screaming that in the comments 20 minutes ago, or maybe I was right. I haven't loaded up the page just yet. Ooh, okay, I don't have a vision variant. I don't know if this is like the super cool one. There's a vision variant that like looks different when you play it. That is scary because if your finger's slipping and you're just opening up a spotlight cache randomly, that could be bad. Uh, 200 gold. There needs to be like a confirmation on spotlight caches because they are just so important uh, or just like such a big deal that they come around so infrequently. But looks like we only have a few more collector's reserves to open up here, maybe. Ooh, uh, it's not gonna make the cut. It's not gonna make the cut because I've got an abomination that has a Santa hat on, or at the very least, he's like playing in the snow. I think he's got a Santa hat on. Let's take a look. So what are the other... I know I just opened up a few five cost cards. That's gonna be Abomination and Vision. Oh, I did have a Vision variant. Oh, I had Max Grek. It's gotta be Max. Sorry, other Vision. Sorry, variant, but that's gotta be Max. And apologies, Max, that I forgot. But yeah, this winter vacation abomination with the Santa hat, I love holiday themed things. You put a Santa hat on something and that's my favorite variant. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be that abomination for me, unfortunately. What else did I want to do in this menu? Oh yeah, I was gonna look at quality And just see what other new variants did I get. Spider-Woman, that one's... Did we favorite this one? No, we can favorite her. We got Nimrod. We got... There's the Abomination. Wait, there's not actually that much here. Is this everything new that we got? There's no way. Oh, 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 I know what the problem is. We're only looking at cards that cost five. Okay, yeah, we got the White Queen... I'll play it. I mean, I won't play it because as you can see, it's not in any of my decks currently, uh, but this is the Sword Master that I'm currently rocking. That is that is epic. I'm keeping the Lunar New Year variant for sure. Uh, Super Scroll Chibi variant, that is cool. I'm a fan of that Strong Guy. We can take a look at our Strong Guy options. I've got Summer Vacation, which is also fun. It's like beach party themed. It's got the X-Men outfit on as well. I like the X-Men outfit in the base card though too. Hmm. I'll go for King of Hell, but we'll revisit it if we ever actually play Strong Guy. Why did this website not load up? That's crazy. I'm just gonna Google Marvel Snap Series 5. Let's see if something else loads up faster for some reason. Having an 
issue loading up, snap zone. Don't know why. I guess it's because I'm recording. My computer just started to get super slow. Anything else? Yeah, we got the, both of these saber tooths. We got Nimrod, we got Negasonic. Morb was cool. This is the Moon Girl that I'm gonna keep on playing. This one's a lot of fun. Not gonna play the pixel version, unfortunately. Uh, we got this Lockjaw, but I already have this one. So I will keep rocking that one. Lady Sif, very cool variant. Um, if you go onto Hitmonkey, where did Hitmonkey just go? I thought I just saw it. Oh yeah, right here. Will this tell me... Okay, it is a Series 5 card. Very, very cool. Okay, so I got Hitmonkey a little bit earlier than I expected to even. And then here's my Electro variants. I've snapped or uh, upgraded this one all the way up to black and white. It's called the Ultimate variant, so that's probably cool. But... I don't know. I will start upgrading this new one as well to uh, try to get some value out of it. Death. Eh. I can even... That's right. Let's go to this Electro right now. Yeah, I've got 1,300 boosters. So that's probably where a lot of my boosters right now are going to wind up going. So we will... Um, Yeah, I mean, let's just let's just do that right now. I'm gonna uh, start to power this thing up. Though I don't know, will I ever just like keep it green or keep it blue? Hmm, it's always so tough. And this one I can open up, right? Yeah. Next thing isn't going to be to eighty-two ninety, which I think I probably will get there before the end of this video, but I have to spend some credits. Let's just... <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's not spend credits on that just yet. And then I did get a new Angela too. And the awkward thing about Angela is I just started upgrading Just sort by power. I'll be able to find her easily. I just started upgrading this Angela. Though it's not horrible at orange. I guess I could keep it at orange and with 190 boosters get to work on this one. Though will I keep this one at orange? That's kind of the trick. We'll see how it looks at orange. But I'm going to start leveling up this baby Angela variant here. It's gonna be a long video. This is gonna be like a... We're at... Yeah, it's gonna be at least an hour long. We're at probably 45 minutes right now, huh? Um, I could just zip through some of this stuff. I'm kind of out of discussion points to talk about, but we'll just talk about things that are on the screen. Do we keep it here? That's the question. And and it's such a big question too, because if you continue upgrading this card, you can never get it to look exactly like this again. And I think that this kind of looks cool. I like the smoky background. I like the orange border. I don't like once you just get that rainbow background and everything. So I think I'm gonna stop there. Can we upgrade Morb? No. Can upgrade Hit Monkey once. That seems fine. But I'll keep him. I'm not looking to like. Eh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go back to quality. And let's see, are any of these cards just worth putting one upgrade into? And I think the answer is yes. This guy would actually look cool with an infinity border. So we can frame break them. I'm just gonna frame break because it is the best credit to collector level ratio that you can get in the game. So let's frame break a few cards here. 
so that way we can potentially open up like one more collector's reserve by the end of the video. He's a cool Star Lord. But I got the I got the baby Star Lord too. So I'm probably not gonna use that one. We can upgrade this. We can actually fully split this again. So I'm gonna do that. Send this all the way up the chain as fast as we can. And after this Psylocke, I'm gonna pause again for a second, just because this is going to be, these are gonna be like four large video files that take me a while to get from my phone onto my computer and I'm only doing it like this because it's the only way it works. If you try to play the game on the computer, then you don't get the old collector's reserve. So it's a weird thing. Obviously I don't have to make content around it, but this will be a fun video. It might be a two-parter at this point, just because it's gonna take me so long to, to get it all together. But um, yeah, here is the Psylocke split. We did not, oh, and we can um, do this one more time, frame break it one more time. I gotta let Lily out soon too. Oh, and these are only cards that cost two. <laughs> uh, zero, I'm gonna keep as is. White Queen, I could honestly see keeping here too. The building in the background is kind of cute. I don't think I'll ever use it though. So let's frame break it. But like some cards like this zero that I have, not those ones, this one, the one that I actually play, I just wanna keep like this, the chibi variant. So I'm not gonna touch that, not gonna touch my, what are these called? Uh, ink finished splits, so wave can stay. Vision can definitely get frame broken. It's a green card anyways, so the frame break is totally fine. Abomination, we're not playing that. Take a frame break. Taking a break to pet my dog. I got the AC on. Apologies for the weird audio for a second, but uh, I'm just gonna upgrade some cards and I'll rejoin the commentary again in a moment. So I just took a little bit of a break from recording. I let my dog out. You can see I'm a little bit sweaty. And I also upgraded a bunch of cards and I claimed all of my credits and boosters off of the collection track. And you can see I've gotten that number down to 60. That represents about 20 future spotlight caches. And that means I've got about 40 collector's reserves that we can open up. And I'm sure that'll give me a few more credits and then we can upgrade a few more cards. But we're almost done. We're almost through it here. Hopefully no more mistakes in the home stretch. We're mostly going to be looking at the left side of the screen after we scroll up a little bit more through all of these things that <laughs> we already got through today. This has been a massive video. I just decided to break it up into two parts here and recorded the outro for yesterday's video and the intro for today's video. So that's why I'm sweaty in those parts of those videos as well. Um, still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that Electro, but here we go, we're back into it. Collector's Reserves, grabbing some tokens, and 7810, that is a number that we're gonna let sit there. We grab, I'm sorry it has come to this. Eh, not in love with that one. What else do we got here? We've got Onslaught Dan Hip. Yes, please. That's a cool one. Um, I love that. I don't have an Onslaught variant and this is a great one to grab. Uh, one thing that I wanted to bring up as well. So through yesterday, Hitmonkey was the only 
Series 5 card that I opened up. I loaded this website up and now that I'm recording, it is somehow miraculously slow again. So I don't know what to do about that. I do have way too many programs open right now. But it's not like I even have Marvel Snap open. So what are you doing? What are you doing, computer? All right, well, now I've got a spinning wheel on my computer. Um, point I was going to get to, Hitmonkey was the only Series 5 card that I actually opened up yesterday. And there's still a few more Series 4 cards that I actually need to grab. So Darkhawk, top of the list. Somehow, all of these reserves, and if not found Darkhawk yet, Master Mold, Modok, much lower priorities, but haven't opened those up. Stature, I would actually like. And then I could grab the other Spider cards, Spider-Ham and Spider-Man 2099. So those are the four Series 4 cards that I'm currently missing. We'll see. I should be able to grab like one or two of those. If it's 40 collector's reserves, isn't that... No, I guess that's only, that might only be one additional card through all of these. Maybe two. Um, what's tricky is like, if it just happened randomly that one of your cards was in a key number, then you're just, you just lose access to it. You just don't get it. Um, but that's fine because they're going to become a card anyways. If we we're like paying, but there's no way to know for sure if it would be a card. It would be quite unlucky to have it wind up being a card, but you know, it happens. So I think by the looks of it, 8170, that is a number that I wanna keep in play, but 8218, that one I can claim for sure. That's gonna give me a Wasp avatar, all right? Wasp seeing a lot of play right now and 300 credits, 8242. We can claim that one for some tokens. Grab some more tokens. We can grab this one as well. More tokens. But that's kind of like the point of doing this today. You grab a bunch of tokens. You claw at a bunch of tokens. I believe this number will keep. 8290 sounds right. Uh, yes. So that one will keep. Grab some gold. That's the other purpose of all of this. Okay. I like I like Scarlet Witch. I'm a I'm a fan of uh, Elizabeth Olsen, so maybe we'll get to that one eventually. I still have not won in Infinity Conquest, and I'm not gonna have as much time to play this season. Though it is a longer season, so maybe I will get to it. This is Hulkbuster, right? That was one of my favorite cards back in the day, back when Deadpool was my first. Deadpool was my very first Series 3 card that I unlocked a long, long time ago. All right, 8410, that's got to be a good number. Yep, we skipped that one past Darkhawk. There we go, finally. All right, I will finally be able to play some Darkhawk. Uh, I think I'd like Stature and Spider-Ham. Those are next up. Maybe Modok, that one could be cool too, to be honest. There's a ch no, I, I don't own Modok. I'm like, there's a chance I already own Modok and just don't know it because uh, I'd never play it. But I am happy to be able to grab a Dark Hawk. It's one less card that I'm going to care about in Spotlight Caches going forward. Uh, nah, I don't think we're going to do anything with Pixel Captain America. It's, he's kind of weird looking. You just lose so much detail, and I like the detail. I do like Pixel Art. I used to make pixel art for a RuneScape forum a long, long time ago, and I think they might have been called Munchkins or something like that. And basically what we did on the forum, there was a bunch of people that did this. There were a lot of packs, and what you would do is not like booster packs, not in that way, just like art series. and. What you would do is within your series, and I was like part of a team that worked on this one particular series, we would have an art style that we would draw that was like kind of pixelated. We would just make them in MS Paint and they had shading and different stuff like that. Um, we would make every single item in the game. 
And then if you wanted to make an avatar to use just for fun, you would grab like the rune helmet and the dragon scimitar, and you would grab all of those assets and you would just drag them into place. And um, then you would, you would make uh, your kind of avatar with um, just pieces that we'd created. So that was a lot of fun just to make those pieces and uh, make cute artwork for people to use. We're gonna skip 8530 for sure. And I think we will still name more. Uh, don't love that one. I've only opened up on the collector's track and, and at this point I'm feeling it must be the case. I guess you can only, I didn't think this was the case, but I guess you can only open up avatars for base artwork, which really is not super exciting. I don't know how you get the fancier avatars as a free to play player otherwise. Rapidly decomposing, decomposting, not super excited about that. And then I'm done. Wow, okay, that's the end of it. So that got me up to 2,800 credits. It's gonna be enough to level up two more cards. And I did pinpoint two other cards that I wanted to level up. Uh, we're gonna be like just short, but I think we'll be able to get to 3,000, which will allow me to, yeah, because I only need one extra bundle of 200 or 150 here. So I think we will find some more credits along the way is bring in the thunder. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to fully level up this lizard and I'll claim anything that I open along the way except for this collector's reserve right here. This one is a magic number, 8650. So we're gonna skip that one. And then I should be able to upgrade one more card. Get a little bit more stuff. And then and then that red number will indicate exactly how many spotlight caches I have. There will be no ambiguity about it. Glad we were able to get Darkhawk as we kind of hit the end of the road here. And it looks like we won't really be able to grab any more Series 4 cards unless we're, like, super lucky. Kind of awkward and makes me think something's a little bit fishy that we weren't able to grab the Series 4 cards that have just come out. Uh, Spider-Ham and Spider-Man 2099. So that's a little bit, that's a little bit peculiar, I would say. Uh, and I'm going to just frame break this lizard and actually put it back in my deck so it's got a green border still. Cool. And then I'm going to go do the same thing with a fun Taskmaster variant that I have. Let's just do it like this. Cool. And we're going to fully upgrade this. Is there anything else we got to talk about? For the end of the video, not sure that there is. Um, this is still loading slow, but I'll talk about the Series 5 cards, I suppose, that I didn't grab if this ever loads. Not sure why it's so, so slow. Uh, but the main Series 5 card that I'm interested in that will make me consider using spotlights is Jeff the baby land shark. That's the one that I think is the most powerful card that I don't currently have. Uh, could also use collector's tokens. I think I'm gonna have enough collector's tokens to get both Jeff and Thanos. Uh, and that's always the question is like, you, like, how sweet does the variant have to be? How sweet does the Thanos variant have to be for me to want to just pick it up? Taskmaster, that looks cool. You know, Taskmaster's got gray lettering. Maybe I'm gonna keep it just like this for a second. Um, so yeah, I'll just keep it with a gray border. 
Though I guess if I can get another collector's reserve by one more upgrade or a, a pair of upgrades, then I will do it. Because I want to open up every collector's reserve I can before updating my game. I got to scroll all the way back up here. I should have done it in the other window is kind of distracting myself, but no matter, no matter. Scroll along here, all the way up, almost at 9,000, almost over 9,000 on the collection level track. Let's see how we doing. All right, let's claim, yeah, all of this stuff. Great. Just want to make sure, yeah, this one, so the next one will be 8770. Are we going to get to that? We're not to that yet, so I don't have to worry about 8770. I can just claim all of this. And yeah, I'm one level to the next collector's reserve, and I could probably honestly get to one more with 400. 400, well that's eight levels, right? So I guess I actually can't, unless I could upgrade a bunch of gray cards, which I don't particularly want to break up all of these. Maybe there's a few of these in here that I can do. We'll see, we'll see. But I'll grab this for now to potentially be our last one. Do you even lift, bro? After today, I feel like I gotta work out in, not just taking the dog for a walk, but just, opening up collector's reserves in Marvel Snap. So I feel like I got my, my steps in. Um, so yeah, 800, if we do the math on that, or, or 400, um, we don't even have to do the math. We can just scroll down and see that 400 credits Four hundred credits. That's going to be upgrading a orange card. Would give me eight collection levels. So even if I did, yeah, it's going to be tough. I don't think I'm going to get to another collector's reserve right now. I think we're going to keep it just here. Twenty-one season spotlight caches to open for the next season. So uh, or or for anytime. I'm probably not going to open them at any point this season, to be honest, after looking at the schedule. Um, you can find the schedule elsewhere. I'm not going to remember to put it up on screen. Oh, actually, you know what? I might be able to do this. Let's do some live, live video editing right here. Will this work? This is a weird file format. Mm, no, it's not working. It's a dot AVIF, so I can't get that to load here in OBS. But 21 spotlight cache is pretty good. Should have been 22, maybe. Uh, but instead, we have that Sabretooth variant that I'm going to be looking to play at some point. And uh, we got basically, uh, we didn't get all the Series 4 cards, but we got a lot of Series 4 cards. Big ones being Nimrod and Darkhawk. Those were the two that I wanted the most. Spider-Ham, Stature would have just been nice on top of that. I'd also be somewhat interested to draw Stag, and honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy about Hitmonkey, too. I know it was a season pass card, uh, so most people already have it, but that's going to unlock a top-tier deck for me that I would definitely like to play, assuming it hasn't already been nerfed, because I have not looked at the patch notes. But there you go. There is everything from today, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't open that. Okay, yeah, we, we opened up this last collector's reserve at 86.98. And uh, it would take 12 more collector's reserves, which we can definitely do. We can upgrade with 300 uh, tokens. We could upgrade 12 cards from gray to not gray. Let's see. One, two, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay. King of Hell, strong guy. The awkward part about upgrading cards from gray to green, frame breaking them, is 
you have to scroll back up to the gray every single time you do it. Uh, Ghost, I don't care about you. You're kind of cool white, but Ghost will definitely be cool with the infinity frame as well. So let's frame break that. Do not have to worry about keeping that one low. Uh, this Bucky Barnes, so by the way, off camera, while I wasn't, yeah, while I wasn't recording, I got Bucky Barnes, Ink Split, and Bishop Ink Split. So we're gonna keep those there. That is the tricky part here, keeping all of my Ink Split cards. There's some cards too, like Arrow, Absorbing Man, that I think I'd like to keep down here. I did just grab another Arrow though. So maybe I'll play this one from now on, which means I can actually frame break this one. So let's frame break here. And let's see if we can't come up with a few more. We can't be too picky. I should probably just do these dominoes. Uh, Ghost Rider, we're gonna do something with eventually. Oh, we actually have, we could have sent Ghost Rider all the way up the chain, but Ghost Rider, I might stop at either orange or red border. Remind me to grab those credits in a second too. Scroll back up. I'm keeping Colossus. I'm not sure what I'm doing with Black Bolt. I think I'm keeping Absorbing Man there. Hell Carrier kind of looks nice. I think I am going to upgrade High Evolutionary eventually. It doesn't look that nice with a gray border. So let's frame break it for now. I'll figure out what we're doing with that later, but I'm not going to be too upset. Again, I closed out of that window. Gotta remember not to do that. M'Baku, uh, he's like kind of grayish, kind of grayscale. Kitty Pride, I'm definitely going to split a few times eventually. So we can level her here. Grab these credits. That'll let me upgrade two more cards or potentially be a little bit more flexible as we go down the line. Uh, Nimrod, surely I'm going to give an infinite background eventually, maybe even try to gray this thing out at some point. So we can upgrade that. I need five more, five more cards and then the video ends. Um, should I mess with these saber tooths? Spider Woman will get upgraded eventually. Not really, because I never play this card, but they'll buff it, I'm sure. All right, four more, four more. Ooh, I should have claimed those boosters because what if they are, what if they are um, Swordmaster boosters? Oh, I have to click all variants to see because I might be missing some random stuff here. Uh, not really. We can upgrade this Dan Hip Onslaught though. That'll definitely get maybe this, but probably an, an infinite border down the line. What else and how many more do we need? Oh yeah, remind me to claim those boosters off the track. I'm leaving the dominoes for now. I might just throw it on this Lockjaw. Yeah, this Lockjaw is gonna get an infinite split with this purple background in the future regardless. So let's grab this, let's claim the booster, see if we get Swordmaster. I think that is a good idea. Oh, did I, I forgot to again? Jeez Louise, it's just, it's just muscle memory to click through the windows. Um, we could make Squirrel Girl green. She just looks so classy that I don't want to touch her, even with 400 boosters there. Sentry, I guess, is going to get gold eventually. It's just not at the top of my list. So let's do that. And that might actually bring us to the next collector's reserve. And then I assume we're done. Oh no, I need one more upgrade. Lockjaw. Okay, one more frame break here and that will end the video captain america pixel goodbye okie dokily long upgrade and it's going to end with 400 more tokens so i'm glad that i did that because if i had waited till tomorrow that wouldn't have been 400 more tokens if i could get 12 more upgrades that's another 300 
credits at least. So I'm definitely not there right this second, but I think we did some good work today. I'm up to almost 13,000 gold, but if we take a look at my collector tokens, 31,000. Um, so yeah, I could probably grab Thanos. I could probably grab Jeff the baby land shark. And uh, one thing that's interesting is like, if I really wanted to, because I've min-maxed my resources so efficiently, free to play, gotta remember as well, uh, because I've min-maxed my resources so efficiently and taken advantage of every type of optimization like we're doing in this video, um, I could, if there's like a really, really cool variant, actually go for it. The main things that I'm holding out for, I don't know if spotlight caches in the future will be how they showcase holiday things. Uh, maybe I could hang on for some holiday things. I grabbed that uh, holiday abomination. That's pretty cool. But if anything comes out with its fingers crossed, I don't even know what hero that would have to be. Maybe Deadpool. Maybe Thanos. And he's got his fingers crossed and he's ready to snap or something. Or he just looks like his fingers are crossed when he's in the snap position. Um, either way, um, maybe there will be some cool variants for me in the future. But for today, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. And for yesterday, that's going to be it for me. I'm no luck's given. Peace.